Hello Virgo, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Okay, Virgo. Okay, so I'm just going to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Virgo, so I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to read it in a second. Um, I'm going to pull tarot and oracle cards also. And I have the messages, the visions that I see, and the coffee, okay, beforehand that I'm going to talk to you about. Really quick, this is very interesting. Something here, somebody's going down. <laughs> Whoever is against you is going down. And this could be people that... For a long, long time, their true colors are going to be shown. Their bill is going to become due. And you may not even talk with these people anymore, know these people anymore. But you could hear of things. There's things that you may even not ever know about. And there, something is coming uh, where they're having to face things and pay for things that they have done to you and other people in this life. But there is a person in particular that you're going to see this. And this, there's something here with this. I saw a person with a hat on, and to me, that signifies a person of authority. You could have um, where you're going to be wearing a different hat, where you have an opportunity to be of some kind of authority here that, you know, you haven't had before, okay? And then I saw, like, the less than sign, and it was pointed away from the person with the hat. So there could be somebody here that's, like, they have this position of authority, but they're actually not worthy of it they're not honoring this hat that they have been given this title this position their responsibilities are duty they're not taking accountability it's like this is like you know putting all the work onto you and you're the, actually the mastermind but they're getting all the credit they're getting all the benefits they're getting all the abundance here and this can manifest in a lot of different ways this could be a love situation this could be in family this could be with friendships could be with work it feels mostly like a work situation but usually when something like this is happening you'll see reflections of this in all different areas of your life and throughout your childhood here so something here is going to change um this is um the time for this okay um it's like you not being seen for who you truly are that's going to change here you're not getting credit for everything that you have done that's going to change here yeah so there could you could hear some kind of betrayal something going on behind your back you're gonna that's gonna come to light people that are talking about you behind their back you're gonna be shown the real thing there's gonna be a lot of clarity coming in here and then I saw like people sitting in chairs. That's a chair. That's a chair. <laughs> like on a bus and it's like a profile and this is a person and this is a person here. And then the divine was in between. So there's somebody here behind your back that is like, it's like, oh, I don't feel good about them being behind your back. Like I don't trust this person, but they're actually like the same level as you. They're on the same bus as you are. Like, who do you think you are? You know, the divine is coming in to intervene with something here. Um, something is going to happen. Then I saw like a person that like looked very combative. And then I saw a dove. So this is something here where you there could be situations where you feel very triggered, where you feel very attacked and you are possibly you know, being kind of attacked and blah, 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 blah. And this is saying to respond like the dove, you know, respond with love, uh, be at peace, be tranquil before you answer, before you respond in your responses. Okay. Because there's something here that's going to be shown and it's going to be shown in this kind of a way. So there could be people that are trying to like set up a trap, you know, and, you're not falling for the trap. This is like, oh, you're not supposed to go to a certain location at work. But this person comes to you and they're like, yeah, you're supposed to go to this location, blah, 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 blah. You know, and you if you go there, you know, then you're going to get caught in this trap, you know. So there is something here about not um, reacting, but being like this dove. There could be something here with a love situation where it is being shown that there is a person here that is giving love, but they're actually only met with confrontation. They're actually only met with like 
someone putting them down and taking away their own authority. And you could see how this could be going on in different relationships in your life. I saw a person with puppet strings or somebody here that's like a manipulator and they want a dark cloud to be over you. I saw a person with a dark cloud over them and it's like that's what they want for you. So, whoa, let's see about this here. Okay, wow, this is very, oh, wow. Okay, so there is a crab here. This is like a little hill, and then there's a crab. So there's something here about cancer season, okay? This could be involving a cancer. We're in cancer season right now. So during cancer season here, so the next couple of days here, something is going to come to light here. Something is going to be understood here. And this is you. I see you here meditating and your hands out like you're ready to the seat, receive. And this is the divine giving to you. Okay. So there's something here that. Yeah, that there you have divine protection around you and spirit is wanting you to know that at this time here. There is something here about um Something mystical is happening here. <laughs> you seeing di I see different faces within different things. And so you can see the different faces of different people and read the different reasons why they are doing things. This is something, some kind of knowledge that you're like being gained access to. And this could have something to do with when you were a child here and um, people behaved in different ways. And now you're seeing things for what it really is. And this is like, now this divine protection here is coming to you. Um, now these blessings are coming to you because I see a pyramid here. And pyramids, you know, really represent um, this planning preparation for the future. It represents, you know, um, there was a lot of things about Egyptian society that were really amazing, you know, that they did. Like women could own property and... Um, you know, they, people were allowed to love who they wanted to love, sleep with who they wanted to sleep with. There weren't all these rules about that kind of stuff. Um, but at the same time, did slaves build the pyramids? You know, how horrible is that? How grueling did that have to be? You know, um, so it's like, you know, there's something here that if it's not right, it's not right. And it doesn't matter how other th things that somebody is giving you, it's right. There is a bare minimum that we don't cross, you know? And now I can see, this is clear. Oh, you can't see it because of, <laughs> but it's like clear and then I can see the bottom here. So this is like seeing the bottom of the ocean here. You can see through somebody and their emotions are fake. And this is gonna be shown, this is gonna be known that their emotions are fake that they have been faking emotions the whole time to get stuff this is a per there's a person that's going to be left out in the cold that's been playing you they're going to be seen for who they really are and i feel like you're going to be guided towards a situation that's going to be better for you here release and truth yeah there is something here if you're letting go of the control you're just going to follow the path of spirit and the truth is going to be revealed without you having anything to do with revealing it because when you're saying the truth about yourself it's like but when you just you know move just move away from it somebody else says it. other people are saying that the proof is shown now that's different from you giving the proof you know what i'm saying so there's something here about that and this could have to do with family because there's trees on both of these um cards here so this could have to do with a Libra or a Scorpio, okay? Even a Sagittarius here, another Virgo, because this is like um, the time of year on this card here. There's some kind of a truth that is going to, or something that could have happened that time of year, okay? From Virgo season last year all the way to like Sag season, okay? So, um you know, August to December, really. Something here hasn't been right since then. This is going to be known. This is going to be made right. 
this is going to be a lot of clarity that's going to um, come in here. Power. Look at this. You have a lot of power and you have a lot of protection here. Uh, the lightning is shown like, you know, a thunderbolt was like Zeus had a thunderbolt. This is the gods are protecting you. Somebody who's trying to be against you. Somebody who's trying to do something wrong, you know, and this is like the gods are striking somebody down here because they're not really a god. You know, and they're trying to act like they are a god. So you just need to flow with this and let this, you know, this is kind of the energy of you give somebody enough rope to hang themselves with here. You know, you have nothing to worry about. And it's kind of like when somebody puts you on the spot in this way, you can look more guilty when you try to defend yourself, right? So that's, okay, this is too many cards, so I'm not going to take it, but this is interesting. <sighs> Staying focused, hold the course. Okay. Yeah, focus on what you should um, be doing. Focus on what it is that you really want, okay? Don't let somebody else stop you from pursuing your dreams living the life that you want to live doing what it is that you want to do here you have rejuvenating rain clear the past heal the present there is some kind of truth that's going to come out that's going to be very healing for you there's a direction that you want to go in and maybe other people don't want you to go in this particular direction you're releasing the things that you used to hold on to and you're going towards this direction. What you have your sights set on that's like far away here, but it's time for this to become your reality here. Oh, this is too many cards again. Okay, let's see. Releasing anything that's keeping you from being focused here. And then you have choosing your path. All is possible. Yeah, you're coming into a very, very, very powerful time here. Anything, anyone that's trying to pull you off of your path, we're not doing this. Journeying by moonlight, believe in magic. Yeah. There's something here really, and this is like, look at the moonlight here and the flow. So there's something here about being in the flow, this rejuvenating rain. Look at the waterfall here. So, wow. This is interesting here. You know, I, I want to pull some tea leaves here. There could be something here where it's like you're working towards something, you're working towards something, and somebody else has the credit for it. They already have this um, something here. I'm giving like this never meet your idols energy here. And it's like, okay, what do you really want? There's something here where giving to a situation and one day, you know, you're going to be promoted. And it's like maybe, you know, it's like becoming evident that this is never going to happen. And you need to let this go and move forward here because there is like a new path that's opening up for you that's going to be very, very magical where the divine is going to be helping you, guiding you, protecting you. And a lot of really amazing, um, abundant opportunities are going to be coming to you. Yeah, look at this career. And you have shield. You need to defend yourself. I'm telling you, there's something here about be very intentional about how you defend yourself how are you going to this is like not the time to like show up late to work who cares <laughs> they're not gonna notice you know what i'm saying there's something here about this that people could be trying to use something against you here and you feel like you need to protect yourself you need to defend yourself here 
um, this could be something that you're wanting to do. And pe there's people that like, they don't want you to go this route and they kind of want answers, but it's like, you don't really owe anybody any answers. Like maybe you want to go into the music career and everyone's like, well, nobody makes it in music. And it's like, okay, well, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> Diamond, you will be receiving a precious gift. The truth is going to come out. You're going to be healed from this and you're going to be celebrated. You're going to be given a gift. There is something here that is worthwhile and all your hard work, all of your belief is going to pay off for you here. Wow. Wow. I feel like this is too many cards. I'm not going to take it. Reconciliation. There could be something here. This is kind of giving me the energy of the Devil Wears Prada, where, you know, in the end, Meryl Streep, you know, she gives Anne Hathaway this glowing recommendation, right? She ends up getting what it is that she wants here. Um... And, it, you know, all this hard work, it ends up paying off here because there's something rare about you with this diamond card. There's something really, really rare about you. And you're attracting opportunities where your rareness is going to get to shine, where what is unique and special about you is going to get to shine. All this pressure that creates a diamond and now it's time for this to shine. So you're clearing away all of the past. The truth is being shown to you. And maybe you're going to leave something, but you're going to leave it on a good note. You're not going to leave it on a bad note. Right? The hat. I'm telling you, you will be playing a different role. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you have to leave where you're working for somewhere else to be playing a different role with this hat or something like that. Choosing your path, power, realizing that you're already this mystical being. You're already proficient in what it is you want to be proficient. You're already doing it all along. All these other things gave you some kind of security. It was an illusion. It wasn't actually security. You have the not unsuccessful plans, but there's something here where there is some kind of plan that is unsuccessful. But because of that, this choose, this pushes you to choose a different path, this path where you are actually honored, this path where you're dreaming bigger, this path where you're playing this different role. Believe in magic. Somebody here that's plotting against you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And this a corrupt situation, toxic situation, could be love, could be any situation, family situation, work situation, whatever it is. I'm using work because it's just easier to explain that way. Whatever that is, you're realizing that it's time to leave this. I'm not tied to this. I don't have to stay to this. And what is the benefit of it to me? You're seeing that there is not really a benefit of it to you. Look at the desk. There is something about this with work. And look, chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. What are you doing? There is something here that could happen that is pushing you in a particular direction that you are meant for, that is going to be having you playing a different role, that is going to have you receiving, that is going to have you getting a precious gift, that is going to be some kind of a reconciliation for all the hard work that you paid off, that is going to have your career taking off, that's going to be showing you that all is possible. Wow, this 
is beautiful. And this looks like divine intervention, does it not? Look at the earth. Wow. Okay, we need tarot now. Now we need tarot. Wow. Pay attention to your work. That's what the desk card says. King of Swords. Oh, of course. King of Swords is proficient in in what they care about and what they're doing in their passion. They have all of this knowledge. So it's time for you to see yourself as this knowledgeable person that you are. It's time for you to, there, there could be something here that you're already very skilled at that you can do. And it's just the belief in yourself that you can do this. You know, this is kind of like dressing for the job that you want, not the job that you have. This is something where this is like, you know, there's somebody who is a boss who is getting all the accolades, who's getting all of the credit, but it's actually you are the brains. You are the brawn. You are the creative one. You are in uh, intelligent. You, uh, you know, you're everything. Without you, this person would be nothing. And you're starting to see that here within yourself. And then when you do that, then you can receive these blessings here. So whatever it is that you had to let go of, this is for you to see that you never actually needed it. This is kind of like when kids have training wheels on their bike, but it's like they want them on because like they think that they need them. But you can see that it's just they're, the training wheels are not even touching the ground, you know. So there is something here that this situation, um, yeah, you have the ten of swords and you have the hanged man. There is something here that's not going to work out. And that's because it's going to push you into this perspective change and this huge change of direction here that is going to be very, very, very beneficial for you. Look at the Page of Swords now. There is something here that you're going to see differently and you're going to, um, you know, it's like you're not really the Page of Swords. You're the King of Swords. But you're allowing yourself to still be the page. And then an explosion of cards. Wow. This could be an explosion of abundance, of overwhelming happiness. And yeah, it's very difficult. But there's wish fulfillment here for you. I mean, I'm not going to take this because it's so much. But let's see. This is you realizing all that you really are, you and your higher self, okay? There is something that's very difficult that you finally make your way out of and you're successful, but there's an element of it being bittersweet. There is an element of wanting to stay and you can't. Um, there could be something like that, but it's very brief. And what you are settling into here is something that is going to be so fulfilling it's going to be so worthwhile it's going to be so you just being met with love being met with abundance being met with security okay this is going to lead to new experiences this is going to lead to you playing a different role. This could be a really great partnership that you're offered here that's a wish fulfillment for you. This is something you realizing you can go all out on your own and you can make these um, deals yourself. You don't need somebody else to do this for you. This is you utilizing all of the power that you really are. And letting that show, this can be, you know, you and your higher self, this can be a different side of yourself here. There could be an inspiring conversation that you have with a friend or a um, co-worker or an acquaintance. 
could be a stranger that you meet and you just happen to strike up a conversation with them. And this is kind of inspiring you here to kind of go for something that would be a wish fulfillment here. And this person is wearing a hat, right? So this is like you playing this different role. This could lead to a beautiful partnership and love as well. I mean, you do have diamond here. You have reconciliation here. So that could also be um, possible here. But um, I feel like this would be, wouldn't be someone necessarily that you are like in love and love with, had this huge relationship. But it could be something here where a person comes back into your life. You haven't seen them and now you're going to be playing a different role in their life. They're going to be playing a different role in your life because maybe you're going to be romantically together now, right? There's something here that it wasn't the time for the two of you to be in love, but it is now, you know, and look at the Hierophant. So this is something being taken to the next level. This is you taking your dream to the next level as well. Wow. Wow. And this being seen, this being honored, this being turned into something solid that can stand the test of time, okay? This is something that, you know, can be established here. It's going to be established. It's going to be acknowledged here. And the hair fan is a card of the student becoming the teacher, okay? Wearing a different hat. So this could be a love, a relationship that also enters your life that is going to become a commitment here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Virgo, this looks amazing. Wow. I'm so very excited for you. I hope that this resonated. If it did and you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Okay. Thank you.